lullaby and good night with pink roses be dyed with lilies overspread is my baby sweet head lay you down now and rest may your slumber be blessed lay you down now and rest may thy slumber be blessed lullaby and good night you're your mother's delight shining angels beside my darling abide soft and warm is your bed close your eyes and rest your head soft and warm is your bed close your eyes and rest your head i know what you're thinking how cute not really it was actually kind of a pain Sam's sleeping habits were infectious to the whole family. The other kids started falling asleep in the oddest places. It was not only impossible to wake up, but it was often dangerous even trying. The most annoying part for all of us was that Sam slept through his chores, or at least he claimed he was asleep. There was no telling with him. I can't believe he's sleeping through another chore. He's got to sleep. It's not my job. It is not my job. He just keeps falling asleep. I've got to do it for him. Week after week. Thanks a lot for cleaning up the kitchen. But where's Sam? Yes, sir. Sleeping. 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 You're kidding. Now, whatever we need to do, whatever we need to do some work around the house, upstairs count some seeds. Songs and logs. That's ridiculous. He says he'll be back a later, but I doubt it. Wake up! Mario, do you remember that one time that we were all having an AIM conversation with Sam, and it was like 9 p.m., and Sam was like, oh, gotta go, guys. Past my bedtime. And we're like, Sam, it's only, it's only 9 p.m. Sam went to sleep. <laughs> Whenever Sam sleeps over my house, I'm up hours before he is, and I already got breakfast done, and then sometimes I even got lunch done. It's just, he never wakes up, and my mom's just wondering, when the hell is this kid gonna get up? No one can outdo Sam when it comes to sleeping. What's oh no! <laughs> oh no! He would go for a nap, he'd sleep all afternoon. You'd put him in like one o'clock, and he slept to four o'clock. you get him up, you play a little bit, and then he'd have supper. Then you go back to bed, and he'd sleep all night. But he never got you up early in the morning. He'd get up a good time. If he got awake, he stayed in the crib, played, never bothered you. He was, a, he was just a perfect baby. The only one that ever bothered him was his brother, Tony. When he came, he would walk around the crib all afternoon, Sam, wake up, Sam. Sam, wake up. You've been sleeping long enough, Sam. Sam, always Sam is just the laziest guy I know. I remember this one time, we had come back from Chicken Joe's and we were walking back into the high school and he said, dang, I forgot my cell phone in your car. And I said, oh, do you wanna run back and get it? I'll give you my keys. And he looks back, the car's about 40 feet maybe. He goes, no, we've gone too far. So, he just forgot about it. Oh yeah, I remember this. This was the medical form we got for you before we left uh, Illinois. But the form I really wanted to find, but I don't think Daddy saved it, which in itself is a miracle, uh, is the form when I took you to see Dr. Spangler in 1992. You were about five or six months old, as I recall, and I took you in to see Dr. Spangler because you slept all the time. And I went in to see Dr. Spangler and I showed you the doctor and I said, something's wrong with this boy, he sleeps 20 hours a day. And he said, well, considering he's your third child, I wouldn't worry about it. He's on the outside fringes of normal. He'll get over it. But you know what, Sam? You never did. It's, it's 
die, man. I don't really know. Normal humans sleep about 30% of their life. Sam, I'd say it's double, triple. One time during, a, I think, a, a Will solo at Arcadia, a drum solo, he just leaned up against the wall and uh, he fell asleep. <laughs> Out like that. He's always doing stuff like that. Sam! Sam! Get up! It's time for church! You have to get up! It's fascinating that you told a fine, card-carrying member of the who's who of Jerusalem <coughs> should seek out the backwater-born itinerant creature Jesus. Could Jesus have had anything in common? Sam, how many times do I have to wake you up? Well, Sam's graduating, going off to college, and you guys have known him for a long time. What is it you most admire about Sam? Sam, you're an idiot. Why don't you see out of bed? Sam, you did it again. You didn't put any gas in the car. Thanks a lot. Good night, Gal. We're going on a very special adventure today to find the adolescent male. Now, who knows what tears lie behind this door? Well, let's go take a look. Crocky, what do we have here? You know what this is? This is a very rare breed of teenager. The Dopey Napopolis. Now, this rare creature will sleep anywhere from 15 to 20 hours a day. Remaining hours usually spend eating, bathing, crying, and sometimes a little more sleeping. Anyway, most of these creatures have woken up and done something spectacular with their lives. And I think it won't be long before this little guy does something spectacular too. Good night, my angel, time to close your eyes and save these questions for another day I think I know what you've been asking me I think you know what I've been trying to say I promised I would never leave you and you should always know Wherever you may go, no matter where you are, I never will be far away. Good night, my angel, now it's time to sleep. And still so many things I want to say. Remember all the songs you sang for me. When we went sailing on an emerald bay And like a boat out on the ocean I'm rocking you to sleep The water's dark and deep inside this ancient heart You'll always be a part
Good night, my angel. Now it's time to dream and dream how wonderful your life will be. Someday your child may cry, and if you sing this lullaby, then in your heart there will always be a part of me. Someday we'll all be gone, but lullabies go on and on. They never die. That's how you and I will be. Sam, wake, wake up! up. It's, it's time, time to go to, go to college. college. Dylan. Dylan, you idiot dog. Look at me. Sam. Sam. Wake up. It's time to go, go to college. college. Okay. You ready to do it again? Do it again. Sam. Wake, Wake up. up. It's, it's time, time to go, go to college. college. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Sorry. <laughs> you just keep going. We got another one. I know it's ridiculous. If I had a belt, I would take it off right now. <laughs> you're, you're, I know oh you're God. making funny faces. Really? I know you are. I wasn't making a no, funny no, face. No, no, but like, never mind. Don't worry. Hey. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> Stop. She comes down? Okay. Yeah. Go, go, go. Whenever Sam sleeps over at my house, he's always sleeping. He's just sleeping for hours. I'm already awake. I'm just waiting for him to come up. And then I just, I already have breakfast out and then even lunch sometimes. And then it's just, damn. Yeah. Wake up, you're so dumb. What else do I have to say? <laughs> it's still recording. <laughs> you spent half your life sleeping. Wake up. That's it. I'm done. That's how we're doing it. Very convenient. Very convenient. Always sleep more than one. Did he? I really can't find the frisbee. And did he? Did he? <laughs> and honestly, Sam seems to be asleep up in his room. And I don't. It's six o'clock. Oh, oh my God! It's eight thirty at night, and Sam's asleep already. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on. Let's Sam sleep with him. I'm sorry. He says he's coming back out later. That's all I, I have. I doubt it. Let's we'll probably just sleep till noon tomorrow. <laughs> what do you think? That's Let's do a take two. That's six oh. <laughs> You guys have known him for a long time. What is it you most admire about Sam? <laughs> what is that actually? He was a wonderful baby, but boy could he sleep. <laughs> Sorry, I don't really know. After a sleepover one time, he just like... He was just like standing there like this, like holding himself up. Looked so mad to be alive. Like a, he was so exhausted. And um, he was just like, I'm taking a shower. And I was like, just coming up to say bye. And I was like, okay, that, that's cool. I'm, I'm going to go. And he was just like, okay. And I was like, I was like I'll, I'll see, you, uh, see you at Frisbee later. And he was just like really funny about it. Because he was just completely like focusing on staying up so that he could get to the shower, it seemed like. And that was really funny. And he was also really um, tired at work, but yeah, that was not really that good. Was <laughs> okay, is that enough? Sam, Sam wake, wake up. up. It's, it's time, time to go to college. college. It's lame. 
If I had, um, one of those... Put the glasses on right now. A wine. I just think that looks like such a paradox. Like, anyone who would wear fez probably wouldn't wear sunglasses. Oh, LA. Or LA, that's true. <laughs> can, we, can we get this going? I can't believe he's sleeping for another chore. I'm going to college, I come home, and I've got to do someone else's chores. Always asleep. Tony, yeah, no. you got to put it in that. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Forgot that. <laughs> I was walking away, I was like. Sam, there's one thing I want you to take with you when you go to college. One million dollars! <laughs> wait, wait, Sam. There's one more thing you've got to see. Do you remember this? Not me. Not me. Not me.